<laughs> now that was fun. What's going on everybody? Really hope everybody's doing well. Welcome to Percussion Life. My name is Eric Perez. Some of you guys already know that by now, but just have to say thank you for taking the time to watch this video. And if you haven't subscribed already, just hit that subscribe button, hit that notification button, find out whenever I upload. And I normally upload two times a week. And it's normally things that you request. And to all my day ones, man, thank you so much for all the love for reaching out, writing, messaging me, man, and you know, just, Constantly just showing the support, man. Man, you gotta love it. This, you know, 2020, I haven't really been uploading, but man, you guys are just making this channel grow and grow and grow. Gotta love it, man, and I gotta love y'all. So today, I'm actually going to kind of review a drum throne that I've been using for literally, well, yeah, I bought it May 2013. That's almost seven years. My gosh, the same throne for seven years. That's bananas. And the reason why I'm doing this is because I've been getting a lot of questions as should you be a seated gonga player or seated percussionist or standing up playing, you know, what, which one's better? And you know, what do you prefer? And honestly, I prefer playing sitting down and it's not that one is better than the other. I really truly believe it's preference, but I've been playing sitting down for almost ever. And I've, yes, I, in occasions I've played standing up, venues require it, certain elements where you have so many percussion instruments, you have to play standing up. But there's two major reasons why I prefer playing sitting down. The first, honestly, I just feel most comfortable. I feel like I have more control of my congas, like I could pick it up and do all this crazy stuff. And I don't know, I'm able to move things around a lot faster than having the drums on stands. I feel like I can customize it just a little bit more when I'm playing sitting down. So it's just more of like a comfort, you know, it's just my, my area of comfort where I'm able to just play and kind of be in my element this way when I'm playing sitting down. And for the second reason, and I think it's for a lot of us that play very often, and it's that it's less stuff to carry. You know, carrying stands around, conga stands especially, not only does that, you know, add to the weight that you have to take back and forth, but it also kind of adds time with regards to setting up. So unless, you know, again, unless the gig requires it or somebody's gonna do it for you, you know, you're gonna be going back and forth a lot. And for a lot of us working musicians, you know, the less stuff that you can take, the better. Unless again, the gig requires it. So if somebody's paying you, bring a whole bunch of stuff, guess what? Better, you know, better, better get that money. You know what I'm saying? Better get that money. But if it's going to be a quick gig, you know, not carrying stands around all over the place is just a lot easier. It's a lot more convenient. But again, it doesn't make, the gonga player or percussionist any better playing on stands or any worse you know sitting down or anything like that it's not one it's just preference and for a long time i've actually been playing on a very cheap throne it's a 50 dollars throne and man it's just hurting my back hurting my butt man hurting everything man i just felt you know uncomfortable and i was about to switch to just playing standing up all the time because just sitting down was just crushing my back until one day I actually go to my local music store which is the Washington Music Center Chuck Levins or Chuck's as people know it in the DMV and the person I normally deal with there just recommended a better throne for me just 
to try it out to see if I would like it. And what he literally recommended to me is a drum throne called the Rock and Sock Nitro Round Black Drum Throne with a backrest. Rock and Sock? No? I tried. Yeah. Sorry about that, guys. All jokes aside, I got the one that actually has hydraulics on it. So it, you know, when you sit down, it kind of bounces and springs back on you, kind of showing more support. So it's not just something just right there, kind of stiff. It's literally kind of, you know, just a little bit more bouncy. You feel that comfort. And the reason why I got that backrest, man, because sometimes I just want to play straight up. I want to make sure my lower back is straight, my posture is straight. And, you know, if you got that kaga chops man he talks about your posture so much in the basic instructions man and you know paolo paolo serious with that posture and i'm all about posture too if your posture is not feeling right if your your back is like you know you're playing like this look you know it's it's gonna you know wear on your body after a time you know and you want to be able to maintain or have tools to help you maintain that kind of posture but you could get this drum throne without the backrest so if you're not a big fan of a backrest you know i get it but it's very simple if you do decide you could buy it i think right now this drum throne is around 180 dollars which is a lot of money yeah it's a lot of money but you know let's let's calculate this i bought it seven years ago and i paid 180 dollars just for the throne the backrest is about another 50 bucks. So that's about $230. Now let's divide that within seven years. Yeah, kind of makes sense. And sometimes for some reason, when we look at things like that, like a drum throne or these little things that you don't want to really invest some money on. And I was one of them, you know, I had a 50 buck drum throne. I thought that was expensive. And to me and to many others, $50 drum throne, is a lot. But I was thinking about, man, I need to invest not just on how I play, but in my body, man. I want to make sure that I'm not going to injure myself or wear myself down, being that I prefer playing sitting down. So here I have a $50 drum throne. It's from PDP, 50 bucks. And just to let you know, if I wanted to adjust this, I would have to get off my seat, take this thing off, move it around, get a key, adjust it, and make all these, you know, custom things mid gig. And you know, time is money. You gotta make sure that you're prepared. And sometimes maybe you're not comfortable. You weren't feeling that position. You have to readjust, get back down, sit down, 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 readjust, get back down, sit down. All this nonsense, just so you can make sure that you're sitting right. But when you have this drum throne, especially that it's on hydraulics, look, if I wanted to move up a little bit, simple as that. If I wanna go down just a little bit, guess what? Those little adjustments help so much. You may not see the difference, but guess what? If I go just a little bit down, <laughs> it makes a difference, man. It's crazy. Just little adjustments, little adjustments, little adjustments, little adjustments, little adjustments. And you can even, you can even, Get the extended version which i think can go a little bit higher if you're kind of that crazy and get a little bit more wiggle room you know what i'm saying some of that wiggle room so yeah look this little thing right here helps you go up and down man helps you go up and down this little thing goes psh, 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 psh. just so you could see the example if i really wanted to get this thing going simple man Simple, simple, just pulling up a lever. It's like an office chair. Gotta love it. But yeah, the build quality is definitely worth it, man. For it to last, you know, seven years and still be in perfect, perfect condition. This thing has not failed me, not once in the seven years. And I've played, you know, put some miles on this thing, you know, put some miles on this thing. And the thing's like, it's absorbent, man. It's just, you know, kind of molds to you eventually. And, you know, I, I don't know. I love it. I love that the backrest is also customizable, man. So if I wanted to make it a little bit more closer to my lower back, if I want to get some space to my lower back, I could do all of that, man. Also, if I wanted to adjust this, this part right here, just this back part, Turn this to the side, gets nice and loose, and 
guess what? Start pulling it backwards, adjust it. Boom. Faster than ever. Crazy. Crazy. You have a good back support. But again, this part is extra. This part is definitely extra. But you gotta love it. I think that's the benefit is that sometimes, you know, we don't look at those instruments or these tools to help us with our work and with our jobs, but man, they're essential. And for, you know, 230 bucks total, uh, it's gonna last you over 10 years, man. And I don't see this thing messing up. So I think it pays for itself, especially when you're gonna be gigging all the time. Yeah, man, you gotta take care of yourself, but you gotta love it. All right, y'all, really do hope you guys enjoyed this video. Just wanted to give my testimonial, my experience with this drum throne. And I think this is part of the reason why I prefer sitting down. I take this drum throne everywhere with me. And then if I go out and play, cause I went to uh, Orlando and I requested this exact same drum throne in my uh, back line. So uh, yeah, you know, sometimes you just gotta get what you're used to, man. And I love this drum throne. I always recommend it to anybody. So yeah, a lot of you have been asking what drum throne I use, man. And yeah, just want a little bit more in depth on my experience, especially for a lot of conga players that are playing sitting down, man. This is just gonna elongate your career, man. So yeah, hope you guys enjoyed this video. You already know what to do. Like, subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Have a great day.